This is second part of the core characteristics of public health surveillance. This presentation was developed by Thane Hancock, Narendra Singh, and Hazel Clothier. Slide 15 Can you select the characteristics of each surveillance activity? You don't know these characteristics. We are going to recognize them. Slide 16 Surveillance has four characteristics. 1. Type, case or population surveillance. 2. Data source, population or institution based. 3. Collection, active or passive. 4. Enforcement, voluntary or mandatory. Slide 17. These are the types of surveillance, case and population surveillance. First, we will review case surveillance. It focus on individuals or small groups. For examples, monitoring to rule out Ebola fever, or contact tracing for TB or STIs. The focus of population surveillance is the population's village, city, jurisdiction, etc. Examples, vital statistics surveillance, mortality, disease reporting surveillance, morbidity, exposure or risk factor surveillance. Slide 18. These are the types of surveillance by data source. Data generated through administrative and operational activities is the source for institution-based surveillance. This data is not confined to health sector. Examples, individual clinical records, clinic service records, and police records. Data generated from sources relate the whole population is the data source for population-based surveillance. Examples, census, civil registration or population surveys. Slide 19. These are the types of surveillance by collection strategy. Active surveillance is reached by public health staff. They find unidentified cases. Examples, door-to-door -door survey or sero surveys. The reports are received by public health staff in public health surveillance. It only detects those who are ill. Examples, Notifiable Disease Surveillance, and Health Information System, his based surveillance. Slide 20. An example of voluntary surveillance is door-to-door -door survey. Mandatory surveillance is part of legislation. Examples, Notifiable Disease Surveillance, or Ebola Monitoring. Slide 21. We can now select the characteristics of each surveillance system. We can review each. For example, Pacific Syndromic Surveillance System is a case surveillance. Its data source is institution-based. It is passive and voluntary. Slide 22. We are going to identify some examples of surveillance. Sentinel Surveillance. Notifiable Disease Surveillance. Syndromic Surveillance. Laboratory-based Surveillance. Event-based Surveillance. Periodic population-based surveys. Registries. Slide 23. Sentinel surveillance. A sentinel was a soldier or guard whose job is to stand and keep watch. Sentinel surveillance uses units to monitor health situation. Slide 24. The characteristics of sentinel surveillance are, it has a limited number of recruited participants. Sentinel surveillance reports detailed information on specified health events. It attempts to be generalizable to the larger population. Sentinel surveillance is useful when high-quality data are needed about a particular disease that cannot be obtained through a passive system. Slide 25. Can you identify difference between comprehensive and sentinel surveillance? Comprehensive surveillance works around the territory. Sentinel surveillance is focused on strategical units. They have sentinels around the island. Slide 26. Notifiable disease surveillance. It includes diseases that required by law to be reported to government authorities. These diseases are identified as being notifiable. This system monitors disease and provides early warning for outbreaks. Notifiable disease surveillance can vary from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. Example, WHO International Health Regulations Notifiable Diseases.
Influenza caused by new serotype poliomyelitis caused by wild type virus severe acute respiratory syndrome smallpox, slide 27. Laboratory based surveillance. It is based on the capture of laboratory results. The results are from clinical laboratories, routine clinical testing, public health laboratories, specialized labs that conduct testing that may be unavailable or cost prohibitive elsewhere. The system captures results for interpretation and dissemination. Slide 28. Event-based surveillance organizes a rapid capture of information about events that are a potential risk to public health, the occurrence of disease in humans as clusters of disease or unusual disease patterns. The potential exposure for humans like deaths in animals or contaminated food products. The information is captured through informal and formal methods rumors, printed the media, doctors' reports, social media, etc. Slide 29. Syndromic surveillance collects and analyzes clinical syndromes. It does not require laboratory-confirmed diagnosis. It establishes thresholds for action determined by understanding endemic levels of disease. Its goal is to detect signals that could indicate an outbreak requiring investigation long before a laboratory confirmed diagnosis. Slide 30. Population based surveys are especially useful for monitoring chronic diseases and health related behaviors. It emphasizes capturing a representative sample of the target population. A survey must be done regularly to be considered part of surveillance, not a one off. Examples. Steps, stepwise approach to non-communicable disease risk factor surveillance by WHO BRFSS, behavioral risk factor surveillance system by CDC. YARBS, youth risk behavior surveillance system by CDC. Slide 31. Registries are used for a particular condition, for example cancer or birth defects. It collects information on each new case including characterization of the disease and frequently exposures or risk factors. Registries have been often established at a jurisdictional level. It is used to improve prevention programs, perform public health research, and evaluate health services. Example, Pacific Regional Central Cancer Registry. Slide 32. Hospital or clinical BAST surveillance is focused on monitoring health events in the clinical care setting. It is often used to track healthcare associated infections, adverse events, and therapy or intervention effectiveness. For example, monitoring drug resistant bacteria, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, in hospitals.